Hello children, welcome to AIMS India's online classes. This is biology session. You are watching challenges in agricultural products and their improvement. Okay. So, we have successfully completed the lesson. So, in the today's session, we are going to discuss the questions which are repeated from this lesson in the previous uh, contests like Olympiads and uh, medical entrance examinations. So, before going to have assessment, let us uh, have a quick review of concepts. So, you know very well what is the need for a uh, higher crop yield? Okay, there is a continuous increase in the human and animal population has created a demand to increase food and uh, fodder production, is not it? So, increased standard of living, uh, health consciousness and the competition in the market demand quality products is not it? To develop uh, disease resistant varieties and also to develop the superior varieties in terms of quantity and quality of yield. So, that is why there is a great demand for crop improvement. Okay. What is crop improvement? That is nothing but the genetic improvement of crop is called as crop improvement. The higher yield, improved quality, biotic and abiotic resistance, changes in the maturity duration, desirable agronomic traits, wider adaptability and easy to acclimatize. Acclimatize means the variety should have the ability to adapt themselves to new climatic conditions. Okay. So, the crop production management, what is crop production management? India is an agriculture based country and uh, three fourth of the population engaged in agriculture only. Okay. In India, as in many other agriculture based countries, the farming ranges from small to very large farms. The different farms does have more or less land, money and access to information and technologies. There is a correlation between the higher inputs and uh, yields. In other words, we can say the farmers purchasing, purchasing capacity for inputs decides the cropping system and production practices. So, these include no cost production, low cost production and high cost production practices. Okay. An intelligent farmer not only depend on agriculture, agriculture related, okay. agriculture related farms like uh, the animal husbandry. What is animal husbandry? Animal husbandry is the management of the animal livestock which includes various aspects such as animals feeding, breeding and disease control. Good animal husbandry practices are needed to meet out the growing demand of uh, milk, meat, eggs. Okay. So, the various types of animal farming are there like uh, cattle farming, poultry farming, fish farming, beekeeping, the dessert culture, apiculture, peril culture, lac culture. Okay. So, these are all. So, for example, uh, the breeds of cattle, if you take drought breeds are there the dual purpose breeds and uh, dairy breeds. What are dairy breeds? Means especially for the milk, milching animals. The indigenous breeds like red sindhi, sahiwal, gir breed of cows. Okay, exotic breeds like jersey, holstein and uh, the brown swiss. The cross breeds like uh, um, and the improved breeds of cow. The breeds of buffalo like murra buffaloes. Mahasana and Surti buffaloes, they are used for the milk production. Okay, children. So, are you ready, children? Let us proceed to the assessment. Okay. So, there are different methods uh, like super ovulation and embryo transplantation are the new techniques for the cattle and other livestock improvement. Okay. Next. Um, the world's first buffalo calf produced by artificial insemination was born at, at the Allahabad, the Agriculture Institute on August 21, 1943 before independence. Okay. Super ovulation embryo transplantation can also be carried out in the sheep, goats and other livestock. 
okay the, now the nowadays uh, we are using the cryo preservation preservation at minus 196 degrees centigrade in the liquid nitrogen can maintain the tissue culture embryos animal cells tissues spermatozoa indefinitely the cryo preserved material is uh, revived through special technique whenever we require the super ovulation means uh, more ova and uh, hence more embryos are developed embryo transplantation and surrogative mothers also help in improve breeding okay there is a subject called eugenics it is a branch of science which deals with the improvement of human race genetically this aspect of human betterment aims to improve the human germoplasm by encouraging the inheritance of best characteristics so that the defective characters may be eliminated okay transgenic animals transgenic animals um, or in which uh, new or altered genes have been experimentally inserted into their genome by genetic engineering technologies techniques when breeding is between the animals of uh, same breed for four to six generation it is called inbreeding okay inbreeding as a rule increases the homozygosity thus the inbreeding is necessary if we want to obtain a pure line in an, any animal okay next okay children let us proceed the neat olympiad level previous contest questions question number one poultry farming is undertaken for egg and feather production feather and chicken production egg and chicken meat milk and egg so which one so egg and chicken meat poultry okay the birds which are grown especially for eggs they are called layers for meat they are called broilers okay broiler and layer forming so which of the following is not a weed p parthenium motha xanthium so this is a weed this is a weed this is a weed this is not a weed so p Which of the following is not a cropping pattern useful in increasing the food production? Mixed cropping, hybridization, intercropping, crop rotation. Hybridization is not a cropping pattern. It is a method of crop improvement. Which of the following is an Italian bee variety? The apiculture is the growing of uh, bees. So, Italian bee, scientific name, Epis mellifera, Epis dorsata, Epis flore, Epis indica. Which one? Epis mellifera is an Italian bee variety. A. Which of the following combinations are most suitable for composite fish culture? Surface feeders and bottom feeders, middle zone feeders and bottom feeders, surface feeders only. Option D, surface feeders, middle zone feeders and bottom feeders. Yes, this is the combinations most suitable for composite fish culture. Okay, PC culture, growing of the fish, F aquaculture, it is a part of. Which of the following uh, contain uh, macronutrients only? calcium sulfur zinc option a option b calcium magnesium and copper option c nitrogen phosphorus and potassium the option d nitrogen iron and chlorine so macro means which are required in large quantities so option c nitrogen phosphorus potassium npk these are macronutrients every crop requires this npk nitrogen phosphorus and uh, potassium option c find out a wrong statement from the following white revolution is the means to increase milk production blue revolution is uh, meant for uh, increase in uh, fish production increasing the food production without uh, comprising with the environmental quantity environmental quality is called as sustainable agriculture none of these 
So, here all are correct only, but uh, we are asked to select the wrong statement. So, none of these. Weeds affect the crop plant by killing of the plant in uh, field before they grow, or dominating the plants to grow or compete for various resources of crops means plants causing low availability of nutrients all of these. Okay. So, all of these option D. The cattle husbandry is done for the following crops following purposes milk production, agricultural work, meat production, egg production, cattle husbandry. Okay. So, it is uh, for milk production correct only, agricultural work yes bulls are used, then meat production, meat is also available from the cattle. So, this uh, egg production is uh, wrong that is poultry. Okay. So, here 1, 2, 3 are correct A option A. Which of the following are uh, Indian cattle? Boss Indicus, Boss Domestica, Boss Bubalis, Boss Vulgaris. Okay, here uh, the Boss Indicus is an Indian cattle, Boss Domestica is not, uh, Boss Bubalis is an Indian cattle, Boss Vulgaris is not. So, 1 and 3, option A. Which of the following are exotic breeds? Brown, Jersey, Brown Swiss, Jersey Swiss. Brown is not uh, Jersey, okay, is an exotic breed. Then uh, born uh, Brown Swiss, it is also an exotic breed. Jersey Swiss is not uh, again. So, 2 and 3 correct that is B. Next, autotrophs and heterotrophs differ in how they obtain their food, whether they are prokaryotic or eukaryotic, option C, how they reproduce sexually or asexually, option D, whether they use uh, chemicals or light as a source of energy. So, here uh, nutrition. So, how they obtain the food is the criteria based on which we can distinguish autotrophs from heterotrophs. Autotrophs synthesize their own food, whereas heterotrophs depend upon the other organisms for to obtain their food. Which one of the following nutrients is not available in fertilizers? Nitrogen, phosphorus, iron, potassium. Iron is not obtained. Which uh, one of the following fishes is the surface feeder? So, here fishes uh, list is given from that uh, you have to identify the surface feeder rohu, mrigala, common carps, katla, katla. Okay. So, out of which the katla, katla is the fish uh, which is the surface feeder. The animal husbandry is the scientific management of uh, animal breeding culture of animals, animal uh, livestock, rearing of animals, this is animal husbandry scientific management, what does it mean? It is animal breeding. Okay. The science concerned with the vegetable culture is called floriculture, oriculture, uh, oloriculture, horticulture, agriculture. So, it is the uh, vegetable culture science. Uh, it is called uh, horticulture, okay. the rearing or culturing of uh, these uh, fruit yielding, vegetable yielding and flower yielding plants it is called horticulture. A water fern which is used as a green manure, green manure used as a green manure in rice field is. Salvia, mucor, asparagus, and azula. Okay. So, azula is an alga which is used uh, the fern, water fern, it is used uh, as a green manure. 
in the rice field. Next, green manure plants uh, used uh, by farmers mainly belongs to Compositae, Leguminaceae, Solanaceae, Poaceae family. To which uh, far family they belongs to? The green manure plants. Okay, most of them belongs to Leguminaceae family or Fabaceae. Okay, nitrogen fixing bacteria is present in their roots. The largest area under cultivation in India is for which of the following crops? Rice, wheat, sugar cane, jowa. Rice, India is number one in the production of rice. Bio herbicides uh, have been recommended to prevent uh, eco degradation. degradation. So, because of their ready availability, because of their cheap rates and because of their abundance. Why bio herbicides have been recommended to prevent uh, eco degradation. Which of the following is not an airborne disease? Black stem rust of wheat, uh, coffee rust, blast of rice, potato mosaic disease. So, these are uh, there are several diseases are there uh, in the plants uh, which are uh, Okay, we blast of rice in the paddy, rust of wheat. Okay, the blast of rice is caused by uh, fungus that is uh, Pyricularis varice, and uh, wheat rust is caused by fungus Puccinia graminis, and wilt in the pea it is caused by fungus, and blight in the bean it is caused by bacteria Pseudomonas syringae. Okay. So, crop disease may be the seed borne disease or soil borne disease or air borne disease or water borne disease. The diseases also occur in the plant. So, here which of the following is a air borne disease? Okay. So, air borne disease uh, like uh, rust of rice, uh, blast of rice. Okay, here uh, black stem, rust of wheat coffee rust, blast of rice, potato mosaicticis. Okay, here potato mosaicticis is an airborne and blast of rice also airborne disease, rust of wheat, blast of rice, potato mosaicticis, these three it is a multi correct answer. Okay. Next, uh, the most uh, important uh, weed against which eradication measures would be taken on war footings is Echornia, Dactylis, Parthenium, Egeratum. Parthenium is a weed, dangerous weed. Okay. Next, the major drawback of DDT it is an insecticide or pesticide, the pesticide is that it is significantly less effective than other pesticides, its uh, cost of production is high, it is not readily and rapidly degraded in nature, organisms at once develop resistance to it. So, here uh, it is not readily and rapidly degraded, so that it can be biomagnification, it can be transferred from one organism to other organism through food chain. Okay. So, that is why. Which of the following is an example of the weed of Karif season that affect wheat crop? Melanthus, Chauli, Nutgrass, Motha, Sorghum, Jangli Jova, Jangli Jova, all of these. Which one? So, all of these will uh, act as a weed in the Karif season that affect the wheat crop. The first bio insecticide developed on commercial scale was quinine DDT, organophosphate, sporine. Sporine is a bio insecticide, okay, developed on commercial scale. Composted manure is produced from farmyard manure and green manure, farm refuse and household refuse organic remains of biogas plant, rotten vegetables and animal refuse, composted manure, 
can. Composted manure is produced from uh, rotten vegetables and uh, animal refuse tea. Next, three crops uh, that uh, contribute maximum to global food grain production. What are they? Rice, wheat, rice and maize, option A, option B, wheat, rice and barley, option C, wheat, maize and sorghum, option D, rice, maize and sorghum. The first one only, wheat, rice and maize, maize means mokajana. Which of the following uh, plant disease can be controlled by chemical control? Viral disease, disease caused by nematodes, fungal disease, all of these. So, for every disease, there is a chemical control. Okay, for viral disease, only uh, draw, uh, disease resistant varieties must be used. Okay, otherwise, there is no control for this viral disease. For insects, insecticides we will use, for pests, pesticides we will use, for fungi, fungicides we will use, okay. for bacteria, antibiotics we will use. But there is no chemical to control the viral disease in plants. Okay. So, which of the following is not an intention of uh, producing the plants using a portion of a plant tissue or uh, cells in a suitable nutrient medium based on the principle plant cells have the capacity to produce uh, plants of their own kind. Option A, to obtain the disease resistant and high yielding variety of crops. Option B, to reduce the period of lifespan of plants. Option C, to develop a large number of plants in a limited space and time. Option D, to obtain the plants which produce more fatal seeds. It is to reduce the period of lifespan of uh, plants. Which one of the following is not uh, a cell crop? Wheat, rice, sorghum, mustard. Sorghum is not a cell crop. The bacteria that destroys some pesticides, Bacillus thuringiensis, Rhizobium azotobacter, the Bacillus pseudomonas. The bacillus thuringiensis, okay, it destroys some pests. In the main, uh, the main ingredients of uh, panchagavya of cow, milk, curd, ghee, dung of cow, urine of cow, all of these, all of these, panchagavya, okay, the five products obtained from the cow. The nutrients are added to the soil by rotating crops, organic manure, chemical fertilizers, all of these, all of these. Nitrogen fixing bacteria, rhizobium, bacillus, mycorrhiza, penicillium, rhizobium. We can increase the food production by increasing the area of cultivated land, developing high yielding varieties, alternate crops, mixed cropping. It is a multi correct answer. So, A is correct increasing the area of cultivation, developing high yielding varieties, alternate crops and mixed crops. Okay. The main ingredients of Panchagavya, cow milk, cow ghee, urine of cow and the dung of cow, all are correct. The inorganic farming, in inorganic farming, What are the steps? Uh, use of natural manures, okay. Use of uh, natural pests controlling methods. The practice of crop rotation and mixed crop system, yes. But use of chemical fertilizers, not there in organic farming. In organic farming, we use these natural manures, uh, use of natural pest controlling methods, uh, and the practice of crop rotation and mixed crop system, okay. Identify the friendly insects, spider, dragonfly, then uh, chrysopa, mirids, ladybird, beetle, rhizobium. Except rhizobium is a bacteria remaining all useful or friendly insects only which uh, are called uh, the predator insects. Now, match the following type question. Broiler, honey, currant, swayze, exotic, milch, these are the 
things in the column 1 and column 2 cow meat dairy products royal jelly for let us uh, match broilers they are exclusively the birds grown for the meat chicken b honey honey produce uh, from the royal jelly then uh, corn swiss it is a variety of cow exotic breed nothing but the foreign breeds that is uh, e next milk means uh, the dairy products okay so b d b d a e c a e and c next type next set mixed crop here uh, mixed crops can be grown in the wetland uh, crop it is a wetland crop stomata stomata help in the process of transpiration micronutrients micronutrient is uh, here uh, iron is the micronutrient e irrigation irrigation means the watering of the field is called irrigation then arundhati pantalu means uh, the dry land crops okay g a e f and the last one is b okay another matching set drip irrigation drip irrigation is uh, the method prevent uh, water wastage water shed water shed here you can uh, find root nodules legume plants bacterial culture bacterial culture they give more uh, nodules on the roots synthetic pyrethroids they are uh, pesticides and insecticides okay and here watershed also prevent the water wastage okay so drip irrigation or watershed is also or then uh, root nodules p the legume plants and uh, the bacterial culture so root nodules uh, legume plants and uh, even groundnut plants also okay then uh, bacterial culture they increase more nodules in the legumes synthetic pyrethroids uh, they are the pesticides and insecticides okay right next uh, matching set here uh, you have to select the group uh, which are rightly matched rabi crop mustard kharif crop cotton mixed crop sugarcane so which options are correct okay here uh, rabi crop uh, it's not a rabi crop it's not a kharif crop mixed crop okay along with sugarcane we can grow okay only 3 is correct okay next potassium micronutrient so next zinc macronutrient bio fertilizer eco friendly okay 
So, here uh, only 3 is correct one, but here uh, which are wrong we have to select. Uh, so, 1 and uh, 2. Potassium is a macronutrient, zinc is a micronutrient, so they are opposite. So, 1 and 2 are uh, wrongly matched sets. In the previous question also, mixed crop, sugar cane it is only wrong, remaining all, remaining 2 are correct. Okay? The wrong set we have to select. Okay, these are some of the questions which are repeated in the previous uh, contests. Okay, read uh, the lesson and uh, do more assessments. Okay, thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates.